We've been getting about 100 a week, and we get usually minimum um, 20 to 30 a day, and that's a lot. There is growing concern for the safety of pelicans in one of the Bay Area's popular fishing spots. A local nonprofit says it has rescued hundreds of the birds over the last few months, some of them found mutilated. Manatee Bureau reporter Allison Henning joins us now live from the South Skyway Fishing Pier with more. Allison. Jen Keith, good evening to you both. I'm told that nonprofit ended up hiring a full time rescuer out here. He is out on this pier five days a week, and I am told in just two months he's rescued more than 600 pelicans. The South Skyway Fishing Pier is a popular spot for fishermen across Tampa Bay. It's the longest in the world, and for bird rescuers like Kim Begay, arguably the most dangerous in the region, specifically for pelicans. There's a corridor between the condemned span and the fishing pier, and it's a, it's a row of water. And it's literally a flyway that is just an entanglement waiting to happen. Begay says there are around 100 rescues a week. About half end up in rehab, and for many of those, the outcome is grim. 40 to 50 percent um, don't make it back out. They have to be euthanized, or they have a tear in the pouch that's not repairable or they have a fracture of the wing and it's not repairable. Organizers like Friends of the Pelicans feel educating anglers and giving them more rescue resources is key to preventing more deaths. Begay and other rescuers tell us they see people mishandling birds trapped in lines every day. Some fishermen we spoke with feel there's no real answer. Their birds are always going to be here, the fish is always going to be here, and we're always going to be here. <laughs> State officials tell Aid on Your Side they're addressing the recreation-related injuries by increasing oversight, limiting rods per angler, increasing bird rescue staff to 40 hours per week, and directing that employee to coordinate additional volunteer work. And state officials tell me they are also working on updating signage out here at the pier to help anglers understand that increased entanglements could result in limited fishing access out here. I'm live from the South Skyway Fishing Pier. Allison Henning, 8 on your side.